But as you know, I'm a volunteer dog warden. Um, and obviously every day of the week, and I will say every day of the week, the only day I wasn't walking since April, and since May last year, was since Stephen's Day. That's the only day I had a break. And every day from them, all that time, every day I've been out picking up dog shit, day in, day out. And um, one my area and other areas too, around Calvin. Um, and there's this, there is, again, there is a pandemic of this, and there's just people being lazy, and some people just being pure ignorant and just couldn't be bothered. Um, and again, I understand it's not a nice job, but again, you're putting other people at risk. You're again, and it's a sin to see people doing this and living it, and children, and I have seen it before. It's happened before children picking it up, and God forbid, going into the eyes. It could blind you, but it can blind you. Um, if went into my eyes, again, I haven't done a health and safety course, and again, I'm the only one in the county doing it. That's voluntary, and to be honest with you, that's really just voluntary going around doing it. Um, and again, there's huge implications to your health. Um, so I'd say to people not to do it. And again, unless it's your dog, you'll pick up after your dog, obviously, 100%. But if it's somebody else's dog, don't put yourself in risk. It's simple as that. Don't put yourself in harm's way for the county council's sake. Um, let them, because you pay your taxes, you know, it's up to them to do it. Um, and that's just putting the straight. But again, I welcome leaks from county council's. DNA testing of dogs, and I think it's important because again, it's just a bit of respect, a bit of manners. Again, it hasn't gotten it's it you know it's been lost nowadays in this country a bit of manners, um a bit of common decency for you human beings. You know, either be children. I have seen elderly people going into churches in County Cavan, um you know with walking sticks and with wheelchairs and going through dog shit and bringing it into the church. I've seen that happen, and this this way, and people and these these people should be shamed. Um, for letting the dog children for the torches and, and anywhere for the stop and letting children people with prams. Now I can't tell you how many young mothers I had talking to, um, that you had to drag the cats, you know, drag the prams through dog shit and have put them into a house and some woman had to pay God knows how much money to get a whole world's change because the whole world was destroyed. Um and again she's a single mother. And you know, again this is the thing and the cat you know, it's just it is really a shame these people get offered and the most we tell you there's only Forty something fines last year handed out, and when I you when I bring somebody off board, you know basically what said, what can you do about it, um and that's really all it said. Must be on that's that's the law. <laughs> you just said what can we do about it? It's too much money to bring to the court, and it takes doctors years to bring to the court. But again, I do welcome Leach and Leach from County Council, and the first local town in the county. Obviously, Leach would be the best county to do. Take for example, Cap nearly hundred thousand people. Leach has thirty two thousand people, so you know smaller population, a small local town, you know. It's you know, again. It's a good test and go on, but you may use that, um, with the small population, obviously, um, so you know it's good and hopefully it works out in Leitrim because I do want it to be brought in here because there's some people, and again I'm not saying this. I'm not trying to put myself in the pedestal or anything like that. I'm just saying and I say this straight to young people and I say this straight to people or anybody who's fed up. I know people are fed up, but and again I wanted to take action. I wasn't going to sit down and stand around and say, oh, I'm going to give out to the local town as well. And when I see something again, this is the type of me. No matter if I'm going to die because of it, I'm going to do. Simple as that. I'm going to continue. And I said that to continue this time to County Council. I couldn't give a damn. Again, if I get something into my head and I want to do something about it, and I have the ability to do something about it, by God, I'm going to do something about it. And that's what I did. I went out and done it. And I didn't care. I, I couldn't give a damn if I die in the morning. That, you know, that's, that's my own loss. Because, again, I put myself at risk. And that's what's going to happen. I'm appalled. And, again, I'm appalled every day of the week. To have some serious illness or to go blind or to take any kind of serious disease of it like there's loads of wing worms and things like that it's a huge amount of diseases and dog shit depending on how long it's lying obviously i wouldn't it's them i'll just say this right and just make people aware because again people don't realize and again people are the good thing about the pandemic and i say people realized how much rubbish and how much litter is around and how much dog shit's around and they never realized before they were never paying attention um, and they come to me and they said, you're white, you're white. And they said, many people have said that to me. They were saying, ah, oh, go away with it. You know, there's not much dog shit. And then they came back to me, you know, during the panel, you were like, you were white, Adrian. You were dead white, my whole estate's full of it. And I never knew this before. And again, the, again, you know, again, I know about this. I've been doing this. Again, th these are the subjects I'm most experienced on. Um, I'm doing everything. I have seen it every day of the week. I've seen nearly everything. Um, and it is a disgrace. It is really, really a disgrace. And it comes down to just a bit of respect, a bit of mouse. Again, it's not a big ask. You can get a scoop. I can if anybody wants a scoop and they live in a bullet, which I get you a scoop, hundred percent. You came to me and said, I want a scoop, I get I go out of my way and I buy you one. Um there's good scoops I have that you know, would do do wonders and you wouldn't even have to lift it with your hand or anything that just put it into a bag and tie it, Bob's your hook up. 
Um, like these are the bags I use. There's other bags too that I buy that are gradable bags. Um, you know you can grab them, but obviously I use my spade kind of yuck. Um, but again, there's huge diseases on it. Um, there's a huge amount of diseases. And even if, but again, I say it to people, and I can't emphasize this enough to people. And I keep saying it to people, you know, not to take it into your own hands, not to take it into your own hands, and to, you know, not to do it yourself. Um, again, if it's other people's dog droppings, it's up to the local authorities. And I'll be honest with you. And I say that straight, because, you know, when push comes to shove, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's not worth putting yourself at risk. And again, I don't really, again, I'm past the point in life where I don't care, you know, what happens to me. Um, again, this is the thing, I'm here preaching about it. And the way I see it, and again, I can't just talk about it, because again, I want to try to say to people that, uh, you know, again, if I get something into my head, and again, this is just making a stronger statement, as many people have often said about me, that... If I see something and I can do something, even if I can do 2% of a difference, and by God, I'm going to make a 2% difference. By God, if I have to break every bone in my body, I will to make a 2% difference. If I can make any kind of a difference, I will. It's simple as that. If I can do anything in my human power, I will. It's, it's, it's the same with anything. I can do it. I may be physically fit, thanks to God, to do it. I will do it. 100%. And that's why I'm out every day doing it. Um, but again, that's the thing. Like, again, it's only a matter of time, and I'll be honest with people, and I've said it many times to my friends and family, that it is only a matter of time before something catches up, or one of these diseases catches up with me, and God forbid blinds me, or God forbid causes irreparable damage to me. Um, which I say I have caught some of the diseases already, um, and I just don't know. And again, it's, you know, I cut off. Um, but I just say to people, you know, if you do see somebody doing it, please, again, it's not the correct protocol, but this gets through to them better. And anything else, video them, put it online, name and shame them. That's the only way to get through them. If you live in Neatrum, obviously contact your local towers because obviously Neatrum County Council are just determined. And I will, I give them credit, I give Neatrum County Council the best credit ever. Fair play to you, really just fair play to you. And I hope a lot of the local towers follow suit. Um, I know I've been pushing, I've talked to a few county councils in Calvin about it, um, and they just kind of, yeah, you know, they like go off it, <laughs> you know, more or less. Um, they're just like, do we, do we, do we, it's not, you know, it's not political correctness and all this, I just like dog shit, <laughs> you know, just bun it straight to them, and then they winch and quip and cry, but it's not political correctness, um, and then they don't get to the issue, you know, they kind of run around the issue, and then they don't explain, you know, they don't understand, and again, if they went out and done it, um, you know, I'm not trying to put myself in the pedestal, but again, it's not as bad, again, people don't know this, again, if you went out and looked, um, and went out specifically to look for dog shit, you'll find it a hundred million times, um, and again, it's for our children's sake, and it's for our community's sake, and for our culture, for the wider society too. Um, that's the good thing about cats, at least they you know, um, dig, uh, dig a hole in them and that. But I say to people, please take care, and please pick up after your dog. Thank you.